Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigam. In today's video, we are going to take up one very very interesting and challenging question from algebra which will solve for smallest positive root. So let's get started by writing denominators cannot be 0, x minus 2 cannot be 0, x minus 3 cannot be 0, x minus 4 cannot be 0. So I can write my answer cannot be 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now we are going to add 4 to both sides and we will split 4 as 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 in LHS. So we can write our equation 1 over x minus 1 plus 1. Second term we will write 2 over x minus 2 plus 1. Third term of LHS we can write 3 over x minus 3 plus 1. And fourth term of LHS will be equal to 4 over x minus 4 plus 1. And RHS 2x square minus 5x minus 4 plus 4. So minus 4 and plus 4 from RHS will be over. Now we have to consider LCM. So we can write 1 plus x minus 1. So plus 1 minus 1 will be over. We will write x over x minus 1 plus 2 plus x minus 2. Plus 2 minus 2 will be over. We will write x over x minus 2 plus 3 plus x minus 3 plus 3 minus 3 will be over x over x minus 3 plus x over x minus 4 equal to 2x square minus 5x. So from there we will take x common. In the bracket we need to write 2x minus 5. Now if I will plug in x equal to 0. So it is satisfying our equation. So I will remove x from LHS and x from RHS. And there we are going to write 1 by writing over there x equal to 0 is our first solution. Now we will consider first and fourth term all together, second and third term all together. Let me write here 1 over x minus 1 plus 1 over x minus 4 plus 1 over x minus 2 plus 1 over x minus 3 will be equal to 2x minus 5. Now we will add these two and we will add these two terms. So I can write in the denominator x minus 1 times x minus 4 and in the numerator I need to write x minus 4 plus x minus 1. Similarly here we will take LCM and we can write x minus 3 plus x minus 2 in the numerator and in the denominator the product of x minus 2 and x minus 3. RHS is 2x minus 5. Now we will simply add numerator. So we are going to get 2x minus 5. In denominator, if we will multiply, we will get x square minus 4x minus x minus 5x minus 1 times minus 4 is plus 4. Similarly, here we will write 2x minus 5 in the numerator. And in the denominator after multiplication, we will write x square minus 2x minus 3x is minus 5x minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6. RHS equal to 2x minus 5. Now if I will plug in 2x equal to 5, it is satisfying our equation. So I can write here 2x minus 5 equal to 0. Then we can remove 2x minus 5 from here, 2x minus 5 from here and 2x minus 5 from here. 
we will write 1, 1 and 1. So from this equation 2x minus 5 equal to 0, I will get 2x equal to 5 and after dividing by 2 both sides, we will get x5 over 2. So this is our second real solution. Now we will solve this rational equation. So I will use substitution. Let me write equation here. 1 over x square minus 5x plus 4 plus 1 over x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 1. So far we have two solutions x equal to 0, x equal to 5 over 2. Now we will use substitution. Let us say x square minus 5x plus 5 equal to suppose y. So I can write both the denominators x square minus 5x plus 4 in terms of y would be y minus 1 and x square minus 5x plus 6 in terms of y we need to write y plus 1. So our first denominator is y minus 1 let us write 1 over y minus 1 and second denominator is y plus 1 equal to 1. Now we are going to take LCM. Once again we will write y minus 1 times y plus 1 in the denominator and in the numerator we have to add y plus 1 and y minus 1 equal to 1. Plus 1 minus 1 will be over from the numerator we will get 2y over a plus b times a minus b or a minus b times a plus b we can apply difference of two squares identity and we can write here y square minus 1 equal to 1. Now we will cross multiply. So I will write here 2y equal to y square minus 1 or I can write y square minus 2y equal to 1. Now I will use completing the square method. So I need to add 1 to both sides. So LHS will give us one perfect square of y minus 1 and RHS is 2 now. Now we will take a square root both the sides. So we have to keep plus minus sign over there and a square root of 2. Now we will add 1 to both sides to get y. So y will be equal to 1 plus minus square root 2. And y was our substitution. y was x square minus 5x plus 5. So I will write here x square minus 5x plus 5 equal to 1 plus minus square root 2. Instead of using quadratic formula, I will use here completing the square method once again. So first of all, I need to subtract 5 from both the sides. So I will write minus 5 here. So I can cancel plus 5 and minus 5 from LHS. We will get x square minus 5x in LHS. And in RHS, we will write 1 minus 5 is minus 4 plus minus square root 2. Let me write this equation here. So I will write here x square minus 5x equal to minus 4 plus minus square root of 2. Now we have to add something to both sides. So coefficient of x is 5 here. I am talking about only number. Half of 5 is 5 over 2. A square of 5 over 2 is 25 over 4. So we have to add both sides 25 over 4. 
Now left hand side is one perfect square of x minus 5 over 2. We can check also x square is x square first term 5 over 2 whole square is 25 over 2 and minus 2 times x times 5 over 2. So 2 and 2 will be cancelled out only 5x would be left. So x minus 5 over 2 whole square equal to. Now we have to take LCM. So minus 4 we can write minus 16 over 4. Root 2 we will write 4 root 2 over 4. And then we have 25 over 4. Now denominator is same. We can simply add the numerators. So we can write here 4. Let me write 25 first minus 16 plus 4 root 2. So 25 minus 16 is 9. Then we will write plus minus sign is there. We have to keep plus minus as it is 9 plus minus 4 root 2 over 4. Now we need to consider square root both sides. So we will get x minus 5 over 2 equal to plus minus the square root of 9 plus minus 4 root 2 over 4. Now this denominator 4 will come out as half and we will add 5 by 2 to both sides. So I can write, let me write here x equal to 5 over 2 plus minus half square root of 9 plus minus 4 root 2. So I can take 2 as a LCM. So let me write here x equal to 5 plus minus square root of 9 plus minus 4 square root 2 with overall denominator 2. Now here we have four solutions. Our first solution was x equal to 0 and second solution was x equal to 5 over 2. Let me write all the solutions once. Here it is. Now we have six solutions from x1 to x6. So we have to find a smallest positive root. We will get a smallest positive root from there where minute is largest and in between there must be minus sign. So here we have minute biggest with minus sign in between. So we will write our answer is x5. Let me write here x is smallest will be equal to 5 minus the square root of 9 plus 4 square root 2 divided by overall 2. This is our final answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Goodbye.